an astrological guide for broken hearts, Guida Astrologica per Cori Infranti, is back on Netflix and FLX for its second season from March A. This charming romantic comedy returns with six new episodes, completing the zodiac signs from Libra to Pisces. The series continues to be delightfully entertaining, a great form of escapism, exploring whether love, as represented in movies, can truly be found using astrology. Based on the Italian bestseller written by Sylvia Zucca, the second season of An Astrological Guide for Broken Hearts completes Alice's search for love using the zodiac signs. If you haven't yet seen the first season, the series follows Alice Bossy, Claudia Gusmano, a producer at a local TV station, in her mid-thirties and single, living in the beautiful Italian city of Turin. She meets Kyo, Lorenzo and Dorni, an actor and astrology expert, who introduces her to the methodology of star signs. He convinces her that she needs to date men with compatible star signs. Tio's influence, Alice conceives a new TV game show that would allow contestants to find their true love using zodiac signs. The concept is picked up by her new boss, David Sardi, Michelle Rosiello. The last episode of season 1 ended with quite the cliffhanger. After kissing her boss, David Sardi, Alice discovers that he in fact is already in a relationship with another woman, named Barbara, Eurydice Exit. Season 2 picks up right where Season 1 had left us. Alice finds herself in quite the predicament. The man she likes is taken. And, to add insult to injury, she has no idea what his star sign is. The different star signs slowly fade into the background in this second season. Alice only has eyes for her boss, and stops stating men according to their star signs. Alice, instead, looks for guidance in her life choices using astrology, and hopes the stars will tell her what she must do. She tells her best friend Paola, Esther Elisha, that she has spent her life making the wrong decisions, and now wants to use astrology so that these decisions may be made for her. A concept which appalls Paola. She does not need anyone, nor any stars, to make her decisions for her. The series plays with this idea of being guided by the stars in a witty and humorous way, showing Alice's frustrations with the state of her love life.